Yo, it's Perp, back with another video, and I just got done watching Shameless Season 10, Episode 11. Now, I'm gonna let y'all know ahead of time, usually I would have some visuals about the characters and stuff and whatnot, but it's super dumb late, and I gotta get up super dumb early for work. I'm fucking exhausted. Technology is just not on my side today. It's frustrating. So, just know that next week for the season finale i'm pretty sure next week is the season finale uh we'll be back on schedule and everything will be you know as is as it should be i should say like that hit that like button hit that subscribe button try and get to 1k this year be dope if i could hit 1k um also follow me on twitter at perpminded420 so let's get right into it shall we i'm gonna start with kevin v you know I still like Kevin V. I think after this show was done, speaking of which, you know, um, didn't realize that season 11 is going to be the final season. That's pretty damn crazy. But um, I'll have some content coming for some ideas for spinoffs that they could do because I already made one video. I made another video talking about how the series should end with Frank um I'll, I'll put all that in the link in the description below definitely go check that out so kev going back to kevin v so kev's pretty much just uh interested in this building that's next to the alibi and he wants to buy it but he doesn't know what to use that space for so he ends up finding a different way a different type of scheme you know involving kegs so he's starting his own like keg workout it's very weird um so that's pretty much what they're doing they're trying to just figure out their financial situations as usual and blah 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 going to carl he's pretty much a snitch um he's an informant he he, he kind of gives it away like these trash people like you know what i'm saying they kind of see right through it um it's interesting that Carl wants to be a cop that bad, which I can see the season ending with him going to the academy, maybe graduating or something like that. But you know, that's what they're pretty much doing with Carl's character. Um, I don't know how to honestly feel about it. Maybe when I rewatch it, it'd probably be better. But it's definitely the weaker part of this episode. Um, I would say between Kev and V's story and you know carl's story in this episode i, I liked uh kevin v's more than carl's because carl was definitely not in in this episode as much so whatever so then going over to frank you know um frank and faye kind of uh reconnected well faye kind of feels guilty for putting frank through that situation lets frank know like we could probably talk this out when i get back from puerto rico and frank pretty much takes the opportunity to um go to her house and break into her house and just you know pretty much squat there um but he's also got somebody he's not alone you know there's the dude that's kind of like the groundskeeper i guess like um living in the basement while this is all going on you know you have liam looking for frank he finds frank uh at this house at this house because he was just looking for him all around the neighborhood and i feel bad for liam because this whole th um season was about him just trying to find his identity finding where he fits in and i got kind of choked up when he said oh i miss frank you know like when he said he misses frank he misses his dad because he just feels like everybody's kind of being distant and he's so used to having everybody around he even makes mention like to he makes mention to lip that um you know first fiona left now lips leaving i'll get to lip very shortly too um now everybody's leaving and I feel bad for the kid, but you know, it's gonna be interesting to see where they take Liam's character for this final season. Will he get his own spinoff? That would be really cool. Um so let's get to Debbie and 
Mickey and Ian. We'll start with uh, Mickey and Ian. You know, Mickey's going all crazy in this episode, um, trying to be as prepared as possible for this wedding. You know, he's t- just freaking out on people, getting kicked out of places, and it- it's really for uh, like ian and mickey are hilarious especially mickey mickey's fucking hilarious yo like i I gotta give him that but you know they're pretty much planning a wedding and they're trying to just go all out that's pretty much what the next episode's gonna be about so let's go over to debbie and you know she's still stuck in this love triangle more so um you know with uh julia she's pretty much just blackmailing debbie at this point to go to homecoming and she kind of gets herself stuck in a sticky situation where you know she has to be at two places at the same time but ends up kind of falling flat in her face and you know good for her because you know those two were two crazy individuals she doesn't need to be around that you know um but moving on to lip and tammy uh we didn't get that much of lip and tammy compared to previous episodes but you know what we got in this episode i thought was really dope you know you have lip having kind of second guessing second guessing himself moving you know he brings up his sobriety and and whatnot and tammy's not really feeling that she is kind of in a mood right now and I feel her because like rewatching that scene, it's like it seems like it's all about lip, lip, lip and not like about them, too. You know, he keeps referencing me, my family. And I feel like Tammy kind of just feels a little alienated, I guess, if you could call it that. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with those two for the final season i that's another spinoff i would love to see like i said in the previous episode review i would like to see tammy and lip uh do their own show i think they could definitely do it but you know that's all i got for you guys today what do you guys think about this episode let me know in the comments below Uh, but yeah that's all i got um till next week uh definitely tune in it's gonna be the season finale it should be lit um till next time i'm out peace the problem is that people live for other people you know that's why it's anti-dog because it's like people live their life according to what someone else should say but yeah i had to i had to just lock in a lot of people don't want to work they want they want point b you know what i'm saying they don't understand though that it's like yo you really gotta do all this though to get there you down for that or you just you just want to be on a jet